All right, man, it's one of the guys that asked me about, you know, cranking in fallen timber in heavily, heavily areas like Burry Creek in Virginia that's got a lot of timber down there. Um, a lot of people don't are really scared of losing their crankbaits, right? So they don't want to throw their crankbaits. They just want to finesse fish. They're going to throw Senkos up in there. They're going to throw all the kinds of rigs because they don't want to lose their crankbaits in that timber. And one of the things you can do to address that that's highly effective um, some of us that have fished a lot more water like that, that's got that situation, especially if you grew up in Virginia um, and places like that, is most crankbait manufacturers have a standard size treble hook that they put on their, their crankbaits. Sometimes the size of the crankbait will, will also um, decrease the size of the um, treble, for example. So if you take this, if you look at this size compared to... This one, you can see they've downsized the trebles for the size of the um, the lure. But one thing that you can do is do the reverse of that. Switch out to the smaller size treble, okay, on your crankbait. So not a big standard hook, but a smaller hook that will allow you to get through that wood with a lesser chance of getting hung up. The other thing you can do is to switch the primary treble in the front to your spin. Most people will tell you it's that first hook that gets caught. Okay? So you can eliminate half of the, the battle by switching to this and then also reducing the size of your hook on the back. So you're not going to get hung up. For example, look at the differentiating sizes of that hook on that and this hook. The size difference there. Okay? And so replacing that hook will allow that crankbait to navigate in there. And when it bounces off, have a lesser a chance on its angle turn for that hook to come out and swipe wood and get caught because its diameter and radius is smaller. It's not going to impact your hookups, mate. That bass is going to hit that thing, okay? And they're not used to seeing crankbaits in that wood and cover. And so that also is going to entice a lot more curiosity and a lot more strikes for your crankbaits if you just have the confidence to throw it in there.